You see this bike? See this kiosk? And this payment device? All these electronics are run by this little guy, Google's Android operating system. And it's the most popular one out there, controlling roughly two thirds of the mobile market. Google says it runs on more than 3 billion devices around the world. That's nearly double the number of cars globally. But that number doesn't include the wide range of other gadgets running hidden Android code. So how did it become so popular and why? Android is open source, which means it's free to access. And because the code is all public, there are a ton of developers familiar with it. Google says open source encourages innovation, which is why the code is and has been free since the first Android smartphone in 2008. Its competitors mostly ran proprietary code, which meant nobody other than them could freely use it. Android is highly customizable, so developers can tweak the code to pair well with a wide variety of devices, like this VR headset and this ATM. It can run efficiently on less expensive computer parts, which makes it cheaper to scale. For example, when NASA set out to make a cost-efficient low-Earth satellite, it tapped Android's code. The software enabled the satellite to send photos back to Earth. And it's user-friendly. This may sound primitive today, but once upon a time, phones required more buttons to use. There weren't any mainstream open source software options that let you swipe, tap, and select objects using your finger. That was until Android. This is why it became so popular and why device makers today use it on a wide range of touchscreen gadgets. Okay, so it's open source, but how does Google benefit from all of this? Because the Android open source project lets anyone tinker and learn, a lot of developers become familiar with the software. So when Google is looking to hire developers, it has a richer pool to choose from. Then there's the monetary benefit. While most of Google's profit comes from ads, companies often want access to Google's other software, like G Suite and the Play Store. Google also makes money by taking a 15% cut from subscription apps on the Play Store. And even when a device isn't using those Google products, the company benefits. Google's motto is Android everywhere, and by making the code accessible, it can do just that. It wants to become ubiquitous, which is good for brand familiarity. It can still be hard sometimes to know from the outside when a device is running Android code. And that's because Google's branding policies can prevent companies from including the Android logo on hardware packaging and marketing materials, even if they use the code. And it makes sense for Google to limit who can call themselves Android when the company wants to be known for Android. Still, there are some downsides to having an open OS. Cybersecurity experts say that Androids are a greater target for malware and viruses. Partly because the Play Store lets third-party software control a lot more features on a device compared to Apple's lockdown operating system. There could also be hidden costs. Just because you're not paying anything up front doesn't mean you won't pay later for access to more core features. I spoke to a computer science professor at Carnegie Mellon. He says that Android has played a pivotal role in advancing software, mostly because it's open source. Which means just by existing, Android helps to push things further, especially when it comes to stuff with a touchscreen. So when you see one in the wild, chances are it's probably an Android.